2016, the LGBT population had 900 million in buying power, according to Forbes magazine. And since then, rainbow capitalism has produced some unusual pride products to get the rainbow dollar. For pride, you can rainbow bedazzle your attire, your accessories, your dog's accessories, what you eat, and your home. The purpose of this video is to highlight companies with the most provocative pride campaigns. In the comment section, let me know your thoughts on rainbow capitalism, what pride campaign is your favorite, which products you would buy or plan to buy, and if you learned about a company for the first time. And a big thank you to all of the new members who joined my channel. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. Now, stay tuned. Nasty Pig is a fetish company founded by a gay couple, Fred and David, who have been together since 93. Nasty Pig Incorporated was born a year later on Halloween. The Pride collection includes a shirt, tank, jockstrap, bikini briefs, short shorts, and longer shorts. I love that they feature various body types in the campaign and capture desire in the gay male body. The BTS footage is steamy, especially with Diego from HBO's Legendary. The collection also includes play sheets to place over your bed sheets when a hookup comes over. You take off the play sheets when the hookup leaves. I know what I'm getting my single friends for Christmas this year. They partnered with the Alley Forney Center. The mission of the center is to protect LGBT youth from homelessness and empower them with the tools needed to live independently. When you buy from Nasty Pig, you support LGBT youth and allow the company to offer fair wages to their staff. Here are a few customers in the Pride Collection. The iconic and eponymous brand Calvin Klein released their Pride Collection titled This Is Love in May. The campaign featured boyfriends Justin Smith and Nicholas Ash. They previously broke up and celebrated reuniting in the campaign. The visuals are gorgeous. We really began to invest in our friendship more recently than just like the relationship aspect of things. I'm proud of the work that we did in that time because we came back together like a happier, healthier version of ourselves. The campaign celebrates families within the community and features the House of Extravaganza from the ballroom scene, actor Sasha Lane and their brother, Tribe Collective, a dance ensemble based out of New York, The Trevor Project, and many others. The brand also worked with LGBT artists to create graphic tees. And some of Calvin Klein's previous campaigns included Omar from Elite, all of you know this is one of my favorite shows on Netflix, as well as actor and singer Isaac Cole Powell, most known from West Side Story, and black bisexual artist Samuel de Saboya, who is from Brazil. Here are additional pieces from the collection. Which piece or pieces would you wear? Let me know in the comment section. To exist in underwear and lifestyle brand known for its provocative campaigns was founded over 30 years ago in New York by a gay man. For Pride Month, the brand released the Cabo Jogger. The campaign was shot in Miami. The model used in the campaign, Pierre, is a pro bodybuilder. The brand also dropped rainbow jock straps, briefs, trunks, and swimwear to celebrate Pride and to also raise funds for the Alley Forney Center. They donate a portion of sales all year round. Plus, during Pride Month, customers could have made a direct donation to the center during checkout. The brand also gives out discounts to teachers, students, people in the military, and responders. I love that. Let me know which item you would wear from the To Exist collection. Pool Boy brand is a lesser known swimwear brand. It feels very gay, but I'm not sure if the owner is gay. However, their creative director for campaigns is definitely gay and lives in Los Angeles. Their pride campaign included a reimagined Stars and Stripes brief with rainbow colors with a number of only fan models and gay content creators. They also have a brief called the Center of Attention and a tie-dye brief 
in the collection. Here are a few customers and pieces from the collection. In the comment section, let me know if you would wear any of these pieces. Postmates created a bottom-friendly menu during Pride. Available only in New York and Los Angeles, the menu featured food options rich in soluble fibers and protein like nuts, rice, citrus, peas, and fish. Participating restaurants included Octopus, Prince Street Pizza, H2O Sushi, Alfred Beatnik and Dialogue Cafe. Postmates partnered with anal surgeon Dr. Evan Goldstein and comedian Rob Anderson to create the Eat With Pride video. This idea was inspired by a viral meme saying Bottom should eat only ice cubes to, pre to prepare their bodies. Did you hear about the menu? If so, what are your thoughts about it? In 2019, Postmates donated $10,000 to the Human Rights Campaign, which is the largest national LGBT civil rights organization. They partnered with Sweet Thin, and Sweet Thin created the Rainbow Bowl. 25% of the proceeds were donated to the LA LGBT Center. Also, staff of Postmates marched at LA Pride, Nashville Pride, and San Francisco Pride. And this year, Postmates donated to the Okra Project, an organization that provides Black trans people with home-cooked meals by Black trans people. Underwear Expert is a monthly underwear subscription. You choose how often you receive your box and the number of underwear you want to receive. They carry over 50 brands of underwear. In the comments section, let me know if you subscribe to the Underwear Expert. For Pride, the brand curated an inclusive collection from all LGBT brands like Barcode Berlin with this harness, a trans-inspired brief and jockstrap from Skull and & Bones, and jockstraps from Cell Block. The company partnered with Hulu and the film Fire Island to give away underwear at the Fire Island Pines to promote the film. Attendees at the event also received a free ferry ticket. Here are a few satisfied customers. Can is an LGBT-owned, low-dose cannabis beverage company which was founded in 2018. The successful company raised $27 million to expand to Canada. I discovered the brand last year when they featured Ken XY and Gus Kenworthy arm wrestling in their underwear in a pride campaign. Simone, Gigi Good, and Rosie Thorne also appeared in the ad. This year, the Pride campaign featured Gus along with Cornbread Jate, Carrie Colby, Georges, Kesha, Patricia Arquette, Haley Kay, and Vincent. The very handsome background dancers are Julio and Michael. In June 2020, Can donated $25,000 to the NAACP, $1,000 to the Last Prisoner Project, $1,000 to the Bail Project, $1,000 to the Black Visions Collective, 1,000 to the color of change, and 1,000 to Campaign Zero to amplify Black voices. Also, a number of other LGBT cannabis companies are opening up to compete with CAN. Recently, a gay-owned cannabis store opened up in downtown LA called Green Queen on Broadway. Fortunately, there's room for all LGBT-owned cannabis companies. Would you buy a can of CAN? Let me know in the comment section. Absolute Vodka has a year-round pride bottle, Absolute Rainbow. The bottle was the first spirit to feature a rainbow design. Absolute started referencing LGBT culture in their ads back in the 80s. The brand is a founding sponsor of the GLAAD Media Awards and one of the first sponsors of RuPaul's Drag Race. And the brand has donated more than $40 million to gay and lesbian organizations such as Outfest Film Festival in Los Angeles. Absolute has been a true ally over the years and not just during June. They create LGBT campaigns throughout the year. They are an example of what companies should do to support the community, such as investing real money to support LGBT companies, hiring LGBT talent for campaigns, as well as creatives to develop the campaigns. So when you buy their products, you're really supporting LGBT initiatives. 
In the comment section, let me know what brand is your vodka of choice. When I went to Denmark for World Pride last year, Copenhagen was drenched in rainbows. My favorite display was at Burger King. This June, Burger King Austria turned heads with their ad that read, Time to be proud. Customers could order two top buns or two bottom buns. There was such an outcry from girls not from Austria, by the way, that the agency that created the ad apologized. The ad felt like if Urban Outfitters decided to curate a menu, this would definitely live on that menu. I think the ad was meant to be taken lightly. However, Burger King over the years has released a number of LGBT ads. In 2014, Burger King was also under fire for the Proud Whopper, which was the same as a regular Whopper, but the inside wrapper read, we are all the same inside. There's beauty in simplicity. I love the reactions in this commercial. In another commercial, the company flies a gay couple to Germany, then lab scientists charred a burger and use the ashes and stock carbon to transform the burger into a diamond. The brand even used an old movie that Andy Warhol filmed to create a Super Bowl ad in 2019. These are clips from a few of my favorite BK Gay ads. In the comment section, let me know if you were offended of the Australian ad or any of the other BK ads. This year, Kate Jewelers partnered with the Human Rights Campaign for the Every Kiss Campaign featuring LGBT couples. The brand made a contribution to the company as well. In 2021, Kay partnered with GLAAD and made a contribution to GLAAD as well. The Every Kiss campaign promotes love in all forms and the beauty of every kiss. Before Pride, Kay featured two dads in a TV commercial. You see them for three seconds. The director of One Million Moms wrote, The campaign attempts to normalize sin by featuring two homosexual men together with their young son. This is why I create content to uplift the community. Straight people frequently leave comments on my Pride videos saying Pride is preferred and that people are half-dressed. Yet we have a conservative ad and this is sinful? This. Life is too short. Live your best life. The opinions of others do not matter. Moreover, when I think of major jewelry companies, I assume they would want to cater to their straight and homophobic clientele. So I'm pleased that Kay is standing beside the community. In the comment section, let me know, have you ever purchased any jewelry from Kay? Maersk is a Danish shipping company which launched their Inclusion Excellence Project in North America. As part of this initiative, the company painted two of their shipping containers with rainbow colors to symbolize inclusion and diversity and integrated these containers into their fleet. Last year in March, these containers embarked on a world tour starting in Los Angeles and stopping at several locations across Asia and Europe before finishing at World Pride in Copenhagen where I saw them. Employees signed the containers, a tradition started by employees in LA. I love that. They were the first shipping company to create a pride campaign using cargo containers. The company then added 15 more containers due to the outpouring of support from the community and conversations that they started globally. Thank you for watching this video. Please follow me on Instagram at writervicyates for more about my art and literary projects. And in the comment section, let me know your thoughts on rainbow capitalism, which pride campaign is your favorite, which products you would buy or plan to buy, and if you learned about a company for the first time. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and become a member if you can. Like and share this video. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, have a lovely day. Besos. Mwah.